Breaking news out of Russia this midday as Brittany Griner pleads guilty. The WNBA star, superstar that is, awaiting her sentence. Our Kevin Reese has been following the story and joins us live with the details. Kevin, you know, myself included, this was a shock to a lot of people. Big shock, not expected this morning at all. And it would appear that Brittany Griner, after 140 days in captivity in Russia, has thrown herself on the mercy of the Russian court. The question, of course, is what will that mean, good or bad for her? Russian state news agency reporting that Griner told the court this morning she did not intend to commit a crime, that she did not mean to carry drugs in her luggage, but that it was the result of her packing in a hurry that day. That was the extent of day two of her trial in Russia. She was then taken back to prison, scheduled to be back in court again a week from today. They're doing this a week at a time. The 31-year-old WNBA star and Olympic gold medalist was arrested in February at a Moscow airport after Russian officials say they found cannabis oil in her luggage, what has been described in American terms as a personal use amount. But Russian authorities have accused her of drug smuggling, threatening a sentence of 10 years in prison. Just yesterday, one of the newest developments, President Biden and Vice President Harris did speak by phone with Griner's wife, Sherelle, and she was part of a big rally last night in Arizona. As the days continue to increase, that my wife is wrongfully detained in Russia, I've adapted her mindset in my efforts to get her home by going no matter what or how I feel. Sherelle Griner at that rally last night in Phoenix. The question now is what this unexpected guilty plea will mean for Griner. The Biden administration hasn't made public its strategy to bring her or American Paul Whelan home. Remember, he's been in Russia three years now on a spying conviction, sentenced to 16 years. We'll be tracking additional reaction and developments and have that for you online and on WFAA News at 5 o'clock.